All right, today we're gonna lower the alkalinity and the pH. And there's several ways of doing this, but I'm going to use the muriatic acid method. Now, when you're dealing with this chemical, when you open it, you want to stand down wind. Like if you're gonna open it on this side, make sure the wind is blowing that way. Because when you open it, it releases a little bit of a puff of smoke, a puff of gas, a puff of acid. Or you can place a little fan blowing across. And I'll, but for this application, I won't have a fan on, so I'll just open it and I'll be downwind so you can see the little release of smoke. So when you're working with this, you want a pair of gloves and some eye care. All right, we'll get this cap off. And you'll see a little pull tab here. You just pull that off like that. Yep, it didn't pull off, so I'm going to have to cut it. Got me some scissors here. Poke that down in there. Go around a little bit. Yeah. I didn't see any smoke release yet. But it normally does. Wow. No smoke this time around. Oops. Now if you're using the bucket method, you fill your bucket like half with water and then you always pour the acid into the water, never the other way around. Now I have a 27 foot diameter pool, so I'll probably administer about a half a gallon. And I'll do that just going around the perimeter of the pool. And if you have a smaller pool, maybe go with a quart and then retest your water. Also, we want to have the circulation pump on as we do this. It's going to be crystal clear after this. <laughs> Alrighty, now as you can see, the water is a little bit cloudy, which the muriatic acid, when you lower the pH, it will lessen the cloud. Also, muriatic acid is a cleanser, a cleaner. It also cleans your pool a little bit, and we'll look at it tomorrow, and I'll show you the effects of lowering pH and alkalinity. Final results. This is looking pretty good. Cleared that water right up. You can see the bottom again. Let's see if I can get that water to sparkle. Alright, there's just one more thing I should have did in the beginning. So I got a glass of water from the pool. I'll just dip that in there like that. See what our pH is and alkalinity. Look at that pH. That's right down there at 7 2. And that's where I like to keep it to keep your pool uh, crystal clear. You want it down there at 7 2. Alkalinity, we're looking at the okay range, about 80. Right there. Chlorine on just a tad high. And then you got your chlorine stabilizer, which is also in the okay range. Any questions or comments? Leave them down below.